Is your prospect a red, a green, a yellow maybe? Or, or, or are they a blue? <laughs> or do you not even care? Well, hang in there because today we're going to talk about the four personality colors and why it is that you should have, you know, keep that in mind when you're talking to a, you know, a red versus a green. Hey there, Isai Rodriguez coming at you with more tips, tricks, and advice so that you can get the most out of your network marketing business. So as you're hopping on, if you could, if you would, drop me a like, drop me some hearts, let me know where you're tuning in from on this beautiful blue planet. Show me some love and I will be sure to show the love back. So yeah, let's get right into it. Um, so prospecting, this is, uh, th this topic of approaching a prospect and, uh, understanding or knowing what their color personality is, is kind of important because I mean, realistically, as we're talking to, uh, these different prospects, these different personalities, obviously we know that there's so many, uh, different people out there and, and, you know, you can't just kind of talk to everybody the same. And part of this is because of these four uh, primary personality colors. And so each with each color, uh, you know, the, the personality, there's a way uh, to approach them. You know, like there's a way to frame your questions, to, to go about asking, you know, uh, you, how, you know, basically how you interact with that person, that prospect, depending on what personality they are and what color, you know, what color they are, then you're going to approach and you're going to talk to them different, you know? So, uh, and the four personality, uh, colors, uh, first of all, the first one is red and reds are, um, they are essentially goal oriented. They're driven by, you know, like they, they, they're just like, they want, they want to hit the goals. Like they, they want to know what it is they have to do in order to get to where they want to get, you know, where they want to go. And usually like, they don't want to know about all the details. They don't want to know about every little minute little thing. They just want to know like, Hey, where do I need to go to achieve what I want to get? You know what I mean? Like, so when you're talking to reds, when you're talking to that type of personality, you may want to like approach them and just mention like the different, um, like the different, the different prizes or, or the different, uh, you know, like, like when you first start off, like the different, um, bonuses that the company provides, you know what I mean? So, and more, more than like the bonuses themselves, like you want to talk about like what it is they have to do to get to these bonuses, you know? And generally, generally like with the red, you can, you can basically tell them like, listen, this is what you have to do to get to this bonus. And then you just let them go. You know what I mean? Because ultimately they have like that personality usually has the desire. They usually have the, uh, you know, the, the drive, the enthusiasm to essentially get to where it is that they want to go, you know? And if they, and if they need something, they generally come to you. The second personality, uh, color are the blues. These are the, uh, how should we call them? These are the partiers. <laughs> They're always looking to have fun. They're always looking to party. These are the ones that are always socially late. You know, like they show up late to meetings. They show up late to, uh, you know, if, if, if they, um, if they're get, if they're going out to meet with people, they're generally the ones that are always late. You know what I mean? And it's, it's just part of their personality. And so when you're dealing with, with blues, you know, you, you want to, um, you want to dress up your opportunity or your, your product in, uh, in a fun way, you know, because again, the blues, they're, ge they're generally looking for some kind of fun. They're looking for action. They're looking for, you know, to have a good time. 
Um, they're the first. They're the ones that when you mention a party or a celebration or something like that, they're like, yeah, you know, like rock on. Let's do this. When do we, you know, when do we meet? <laughs> when do we get together? Even though they're the ones that, uh, you know, always end up being late. But that's that's who they are. You know, that those are the blues. The third personality are the yellows. You know, the yellows. They're uh, they're very loving. They're very, um, you know, they they're caring about their their friends, their family, the people around them. They're always looking to help someone. You know what I mean? They're always generous. They're very loving. Um, wow, what what can we say about the yellows? Uh, <laughs> uh, but so so basically. When you're approaching a yellow, uh, you you want to wrap your opportunity or your uh, you know your product in a way that uh, you know caters to how they already think. Again, they're the types that are you know very loving. They they like to do things with other people. They like to help others. So you want to position your product, your opportunity, in that light, in that frame of light, in in a way. That they look at it and they see like, yeah, you know, I can help, like this will help me help others, you know, or they like, like if they're, if they see themselves being able to work with their friends or their family or whatever, then that would essentially draw them in. And that's what you want. You want to talk to them in a way that essentially draws them in. And that's why that's, you know, a huge reason why you need to know the color personality of the person of your prospect you know the people that you're approaching <laughs> you know because because again you're either you're either actively prospecting people which is talking to them look you know going out finding people to talk to or you're marketing and even when you're marketing you need to know how to approach these different personalities because when you're when you're marketing and when you're targeting certain demographics you want to know you know uh, how to formulate these messages, these marketing messages, so that you can deliver it to the right person at the right time in a voice that they understand and that they can relate to. So the last, uh, the last personality color are the greens, and the greens um, are the one. These are the analytical ones. These are like typically like your engineers or. Uh, you know, the, the people that love spreadsheets, that they love, uh, you know, crunching numbers. They love data points and data sets. Like, they, they just love data. These are, these are also the type, uh, the type of people who are, um, who, who want to know all the, uh, like, all the info. Like, they want to know all the details. Like, if you, if you approach them with anything like they're going to want to know x y z a b c d e f g like they want to know everything and that's cool you like that's again that's just their personality that's how they are and you want to essentially cater your message your opportunity your 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 product in a way you want to cater in a way like like give like, hand it to them almost uh in a way that they can uh comfortably received so a lot of times the greens are the ones that are like i don't know you know i have to think about this let me do a little research you know what i mean like these are key indicators of like the green personality and generally when when you get that response you want you know like you can like generally we tell people like don't have people look you know do ser like search online or anything but with the greens it's okay because like the, the, the biggest thing or the biggest reason we don't want people searching online for our product or our, our opportunity is because they're, you know, they're going to find something negative. They're going to find some kind of negative comment, something uh, bad, you know, some, somebody had a bad day and they're just bad mouthing the company or the product. But the greens will take this and be like, well, you know, this doesn't seem right or this does, you know, let me look into like, like okay, I hear what this person is saying, but I, I need more information. Like I, I can't take that at face value, you know, so they will get to the right conclusion. Like, okay. and, and unfortunately, those greens, sometimes they take a little longer to convert 
because they do need all this information. So one of the key uh, aspects or, or one of the key things when talking to a green is that you have to continuously uh, keep that dialogue going. Make sure they're getting the information that they're looking for. Make sure you know you don't they don't fall off you know fall off the radar and just keep following up because lots of times those people those that take so long to 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 make a decision because because they have to check off everything you know every pro uh, every ingredient they have to know everything like a lot of times those people those are usually your best uh prospects <laughs> or your best business builders i should say but anyway in a nutshell when you're prospecting, you need to know the type, the personality type that you're dealing with. That way you can tailor your message or speak to them accordingly. You want to talk to them in a way and deliver your message in a way that essentially cuts through and resonates with them, you know? So again, knowing your uh, personality traits, know who you're dealing with. <clears throat> know how to frame your message and watch your numbers skyrocket. <laughs> if you're looking for more advanced training, like such as building capture pages, lead generation, traffic generation, building a blog, things of that nature, reach out to me. Let's talk because I have just the um, resource for you. I have tons of resources actually, but I need to know what it is that you're looking for so that I can get the right resource for you. Also, if you're not aware, I'm always looking for hungry, eager individuals just like you with that have that desire, that, that hunger to create a lifestyle of their own. If that's you and you're looking to build something of your own, but maybe you don't know how to get there, let's connect, let's get together and let's talk. Let's see what, where you're at, where you're trying to get to and what do you need to get to that level. Until the next video, bye now.